Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a while. Today's video is a haul. Um, it's a collective haul. There's a quite a lot of things in this um, in in this haul. There's probably more, but I actually can't remember what I've actually bought over the last <laughs> few weeks. Um, and I I'm not going to be doing lots of hauls. Hauls is not something that I really want to do too many of on on my channel. I don't really want to promote excessive buying. Um, and I used to, I used to buy clothes all the time and uh, just my drawers and my wardrobe would just be bursting. Um, but while I've been um, sort of off and away, I have been, um, I had a massive wardrobe overhaul. I got rid of, I got rid of so many of my clothes. Um, things that I hadn't worn in ages, things that don't fit me anymore, things that I'm hanging on to for absolutely no reason at all. And I've changed my wardrobe up a lot. I feel like everything in my wardrobe will go together. So it's easier to put an outfit together. It's all in the same kind of color palette. Um, and I'm really happy with the clothes I've got now. I'm really happy with the smaller wardrobe that I have. Um, and I'm really happy with the pieces that I've bought um, that I'm gonna show you today. In terms of my style, I think it's changed a lot over the years. When I was a teenager, I was very, very loud, very quirky. Oh my God, if I would look at some of the things that I used to wear, I'd be like, what on earth were you thinking? Um, but yeah, I was, I was quite experimental. I used to wear so many different colors. The more colors, the better, um, in my opinion, apparently, when I was about 16. I guess where I am now is that I like my outfits to feel quite effortless, quite chic, quite stylish, um, really simple, quite timeless. Um, so yeah, so I think all the pieces that I've got here do reflect that. But the items I'm going to show you today are all from ASOS, Zara or H&M. They are pretty much the only places I shop nowadays. I used to shop a lot on Nasty Gal, um, Misguided, um, a lot of fast fashion brands um, that were really cheap. I would just spend so much money on them. But when I look at the quality, it's not there. Um, and I when I look at, it's all kind of trend led. And I'm not really, there are a few pieces that I'm gonna show you today that are trend led, but I don't really want that anymore. I'm kind of, I know what my style is. I know I'm quite simple. I'm quite plain actually with what I wear. I'm trying to steer away from brands that I, I guess I don't believe in or um, yeah, brands that don't promote the kind of culture that I want to buy into, put it that way, which is why I said I'm not going to be doing hauls every week on my channel because I don't, I'm being more considered about what I buy now. So that's why this is a collective haul. I've had these bits for a little while and um, I've bought them over a period of time. Anything I mention is gonna be linked in the box below. Um, so you can you can easily find everything if you are interested. And um, I will insert a little clip of me uh, wearing the item um, as I'm talking about them. So you should be able to see how it fits on me and um, because I'm not gonna be able to hold up long things in the camera, let's be honest, I can't like, it's not gonna work. So yeah, there'll be a little clip uh, alongside the item that I'm talking about. So the first item I've got is from ASOS and it's this white oversized shirt. It's from the brand Stradivarius, um, but I purchased it from ASOS. I'm gonna actually struggle to remember how much everything was. I'll try and put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, and um, I mean, like I said, it will be linked below anyway, so I'll try and put the prices in as well. But I'm pretty sure this was not very expensive. I think it was £17 and I believe it was in the sale. You can see that it is really long. Um, so you could wear this as a dress as well. It's not that see-through at all. I've tried it on um, ju just as a dress and I find it, yeah, I think it's really nice. I haven't worn it out yet because nobody's going anywhere. But I think this is such a staple. I have so many white shirts. I just absolutely love them. So, um, so yeah, and I didn't really have an oversized one in my collection, so yeah, I purchased this one. Looks good with jeans, it looks good with leather trousers, it will look good, like I said, as a dress. Um, you can tuck it in, leave it out, tuck the front in, it's great. It's, I think it's just so versatile, and like I said, I like everything to go with everything in my wardrobe. So yeah, this definitely is a great purchase um, that can be worn over and over, and it will just never go out of style. The next thing I got from ASOS is a pair of jeans. So this is... So these are a pair of straight leg jeans from the brand Reclaimed Vintage. So um, I have been, um, I've kind of, I've bought quite a lot of jeans recently because none of my old ones fit me, which is nice. <laughs> so I've got rid of a lot of jeans just because they don't fit, they're not comfortable and yeah, it's a bit sad to be quite honest. I don't wanna, don't wanna labor on that point. But um, I, I have a lot, I had a lot of skinny jeans 
and I just wasn't really, I don't know, I think just with a lot of the clothes I wear, I wasn't really feeling the skinny jean anymore, so I think I've only got one pair of black skinnies now, and um, everything else is sort of more loose fitting, so I have more sort of those kind of 90s wide leg jeans, I've got some flares, I have got some mom jeans, um, but what I did want is a pair of straight leg jeans. So um, I got these ones. Um, I, I bought quite a few different pairs and uh, these ones fit me the nicest they are. Um, they're really nice quality. Um, a really nice shade of blue. They don't have any rips in them. They're a really nice shade of blue. Um, they're kind of, I guess, mid. I don't really like light denim. I don't think it, it looks nice on me at all. Um, and I'm not a big fan of really dark denim unless it's black. So um, these are kind of in between, and um, they don't have any stretch in them. They are they're they're pretty they're pretty firm. They don't have any stretch. And again, I don't really like stretchy stretchy denim. I don't I'm not a fan. So um, yeah, these fit me really well. They are a size. So these are a waist 28, length 32. I do have quite long legs, um, and hopefully you can see in the clip that they are quite a good length for me. They they fit really well. Um, and yeah, they, I love them. I think they're really nice. And these jeans were £32. So the last two things that I've got from ASOS are actually from And Other Stories, but purchased them through the ASOS website. Um, they're just two really plain um, t-shirts. So I got a black t-shirt here. Um, I got this in a size small and it was £20. So um, I feel like it's um, it's really nice material. It feels so soft. It's um, a standard, um, standard t-shirt fit. Just wanted a plain black t-shirt, so that is this one. The last thing I got from another stories, which was £20 as well, I think, um, was this stripey one. So this is a navy and white striped t-shirt. Um, I really like it. I'm such a sucker for stripes. And um, yeah, I really, really like this t-shirt. Again, really, really nice quality material. It washes really well. And yeah, really happy with it. So the next lot of things I'm gonna show you are gonna be from H&M. So this first item, and actually the second one as well, um, are a little bit wintry, um, but no, I think they're quite transitional. I mean, spring isn't exactly boiling hot in the UK, so um, I'll definitely be wearing these probably in June. So the first thing is this roll neck sweater in this really nice sage green. It's looking a bit gray on camera, but it is, it's kind of like a sagey green. It's really nice. I really like that color at the moment. And again, it's something different to white or cream, but it does go with everything. So I think this will go with a pair of light trousers. It will go with black trousers, navy blue trousers. But yeah, it feels really, really soft. I believe this was only 12 99 from H&M. So really good price. So yeah, it's not too thick, it's really good for layering, and it's really nice while the weather is transitioning. Next item is another jumper. This is another fine knit jumper in grey. It's just got a round neck, it's long sleeved. Again, really, really soft. Has this little split detail at the sides. It's slightly, ever so slightly longer at the back, but it's not It's not really a feature, I don't think. Um, but it's really, really soft. Um, and it was only £9.99, and again, I just think it's a really simple staple piece. You can put a shirt underneath this and it changes the look. So yeah, really versatile and um, yeah, not not expensive at all, so really nice purchase. Next, I've got a shirt. So it is a satin shirt of which I have such an obsession with. <laughs> I've got about eight satin shirts in my wardrobe and I wear them all the time, I love them. So um, yeah, anything satin and I'm just absolute sucker for. So um, yeah, I got this in this lovely neutral sort of oyster shade. Um, it is v-neck so the button only comes up to here which I think is quite nice. Um, and yeah, it's um, quite a nice fitting shirt. I always roll the sleeves up on my shirts, you'll probably see in the clip that yeah, I've rolled the sleeves up just because I prefer the silhouette. I think it looks a lot more relaxed, a lot more casual. But this was also 12 99 I feel like everything I bought from H&M was such a bargain but again the quality it just feels really nice and I, I just I love these items I just know I'll wear them so much so it's great and I am a creature of habit so I bought another one <laughs> I bought another one in this lovely um green color it's um it's coming up lighter on the camera than it is in real life and to be honest the color that it is on the camera is the color I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be like a sage green whereas this is more not quite a forest green, but it is quite dark. Um, but I don't mind, I actually really like it. It feels really nice quality. Um, and yeah, I really like this. So the last thing I've got from H&M is a blazer. Now, this is a bit of a new thing for me. I am not a blazer kind of gal. Um, I don't know, I buy blazers and I um, just don't feel like they go with anything in my wardrobe and then I give them to my mum. But <laughs> I got this blazer from H&M. Um, and this is really nice. It's a, it's um, it's like a brown, it's a brown and cream blazer. I'll go a bit closer so you can see. Um, and it has this lovely sort of um, houndstooth, houndstooth-esque 
pattern on there. Um, so yeah, really like that. I think it's um, I think it's really nice, really timeless. It feels really heavy, really good quality. It was thirty four ninety nine, which I think was quite a good price. It, I mean, the material it feels lovely. Um, so yeah, and I think this will be nice. Again, I'll probably ruche the she sleeves up a bit. I think I'll probably do that in the clip. Um, but it's got this button detail here, which is quite interesting. These four buttons on the cuff, which I quite like. Um, and it has one button to fasten with, um, but I probably will never fasten it because why would I? I don't know. Do people do that? Do you fasten your blazers? I don't know. I think it will go with quite a lot of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe. I'll probably do a little styling video with this actually. If you like, let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd want to see. So yeah, with that blazer, that is everything I've got from H&M. So last and certainly not least, actually not last, I've got one item actually from Monkey that I need to show you. So I'll show you that last. But the last collection of items I've got are from Zara, of course. Is it a haul if you don't go to Zara these days? I don't know. So the first item I want to show you is my new favourite pair of lounge trousers um, and it's these ones here. These are kind of like a really nice thick jersey material um, and they're wide leg. I have to confess, <laughs> when I bought these I did not think that they were going to be kind of like uh, like loungy jersey trousers. I thought they were going to be like a, um, you know, I, I thought I was going to be like wearing these to work or <laughs> wearing these out. However, when they came, I was like, oh, they're more of lounge pants. But I didn't send them back because they are amazing. I love them. So um, they are this really nice uh, neutral cream colour. You are sensing a theme, I think. Um, they are only £20, so really good price. It has pockets, which is very exciting. And it has this really nice seam detail at the front as well. So yeah, even though this was a bit of an accidental purchase, I absolutely love it. Keeping within the trouser department, I've got two pairs of trousers here. These are really, really nice. I absolutely love these trousers. They are a tan or camel colour and they are a like a cigarette trouser, like a straight, straight trouser. They're very high-waisted. Um, I actually bought these in a small. I could fit into them. It was painful. I was like, oh, they look really nice on, but I, I can't breathe. So I did return them and I got a size medium, which I'm really happy about. They're so much more comfortable. These are £27.99. The quality of these is really good. It's got this sort of hidden zip and it's got this really nice detailing um, at the top. And I think they do some shorts like this as well. I saw in a haul that Sophie Moulds did. <laughs> Can I just say, she makes me want to buy everything from Zara every time I watch one of her videos or see one of her posts on Instagram. But um, but yeah, I think um, I saw that she had some shorts in this sort of um, style here. And I just think it adds something a bit different um, and I'm really happy with them. And I mean, I said I was a creature of habit. So not only did I size up, but I bought the same trousers in another color. Um, I bought them in this really light neutral shade. So um, perfect for summer. Um, I. I kind of don't, I don't really have a lot of light trousers. This is like the only pair of light coloured trousers that I own. So um, I, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these in the summertime. Really nice colour, exactly the same pair of trousers, um, fit really well. I think they do this in quite a lot of different colours actually. And I feel like I want to get them in black as well because I don't have a really nice pair of black trousers that I'm happy with. But the fit of these is so good. The next thing I got from Zara is this cable knit sweater vest. Did anyone ever think that I would be that girl wearing a cable knit sweater vest? Certainly, I did not think this. I absolutely love it. I wear this, I wear this a lot. <laughs> I've worn it so many times already. It feels super soft, really, really nice quality. This was $25.99, I think. I like the cable detailing on it, a bit of texture, which I like. Nearly there, only a couple more bits to show you. So the next item is very creased, apologies, but it's this little linen shirt. So it's short sleeved and it's slightly cropped, but it's a really nice, um, relaxed fit, really casual, really nice with a pair of jeans. This will be nice in the summertime if the weather goes well. I'm not even gonna say on holiday because I don't think I'll be going anywhere this year. I'm not even gonna try and say, oh, I'd wear this on holiday. Absolutely would wear this on holiday, but not this year. So, um, but but no, it's a really nice light linen shirt. And it's also got these lovely little tortoiseshell buttons, which I think are really nice. I love tortoiseshell. And then finally from Zara, I have a dress. This is gonna be difficult to show you here on camera, but hopefully you can see it a bit better in the clip. It's a lovely little white dress. It's got a little collar on there. It's got some buttons that start here. Um, an end here. It's got this really nice tiered detail. Um, it's quite short. You'll probably see in the clip that it, it is quite short. Um, and I did try it on and think, 
is this too short but I think it's fine um, again I can wear this really casually I think it will look really nice with a pair of trainers it will look nice with a pair of chunky boots um, equally a pair of really nice um, high heels so yeah I think this is really nice actually this is kind of like um, a sort of dinner outfit that I would wear um, in the summertime I definitely roam around in this on a city break but alas no city breaks for me um, but yeah it's um, really nice and I think um, the, the material with this is really really nice. I don't know if you can really tell on camera but it's quite a thick heavy cotton so it will keep its shape really well. I've got loads of fluff on it there so that's nice. And this is £27.99 as well and I know I'll get a lot of wear of this. And my final item to show you, one that I'd almost forgotten about, was um, this trench coat. So this is a lovely sand coloured trench coat from Monkey. I've been looking for a trench coat to wear as the weather's getting warmer because every jacket I have is for really cold weather. I love the colour, it's really nice, I love the quality. It feels amazing. This was £50, so I don't think that's too expensive at all. You can probably get a, a good trench coat for a near nearer to £100, and I think this is really nice. It's so soft. It's got this sort of um, flap here at the back. It's got a belt, and it's got tortoiseshell buttons again, which I love. So yeah, I really, really love this, and I'll be wearing it pretty much with every outfit as soon as it becomes a little bit warmer to do so. It's a really nice it's just the perfect trench coat. It's the perfect trench coat and I really like the colour, this sort of light sand colour. So it'll go with pretty much everything I wear, which is great. So that was everything. My um, coffee's cold, um, which is horrible. Well, there's a definite difference between iced coffee and coffee that has just gone cold. Hope you like this video. I did enjoy filming it. I very much enjoyed buying all the clothes, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite item of clothing was. Let me know if you want me to do that blazer styling video. I think I'll probably just do it anyway, but yeah, you know, let me know. <laughs> let me know if you want it or not. Um, it's probably something I can maybe do on my um, Instagram. I could probably do a reel on it or something. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let's have a chat in the comments. It'll be nice to hear from you after a few weeks of disappearance do follow me on instagram i'm going to post a lot more regularly on there now so yeah if you do want to follow me over on instagram it's at alina tula beauty it would be amazing if you could like this video and even more amazing if you could subscribe before you go and yeah that's it from me i'll see you in my next video bye